everybody, and welcome to this uh, this tutorial for the uh, PCL December Taken Away Craft for All Ages. This is our mini snow globe craft. It is a totally waterless snow globe. Today, um, my name is Robin, and I am joined by Miss Venice and Laura. We are going to show you guys how to put together this craft. We have a couple of different versions, so we are going to walk you through both of them. They're very similar. Um, but uh, we have a couple kits here um, that we should open up and take a look at the contents of. Um, so we have two versions. We have a deer version and a dinosaur version. And I will be doing the deer version today. Uh, Miss Finise, what version are you doing? I am totally going to do the dinosaur version. Awesome. And Laura, do you know what you're going to do? I have two bags here and I'm just going to pick one and let the universe surprise me. That is a great <laughs> Okay, so let's get into these bags and see what's going on. Okay, so I already have my contents out. Um, so we have a few things in here. We have a little jar that's filled with lots of very interesting things. Um, we are gonna open that up. So inside of this jar is a little bag of like uh, plasticky sort of shredded snow that will look really awesome inside of your snow globe. Um, we have a little, little, there we go. A little tree, nice little like snow covered tree. Um, we have a long piece of twine here. We have a little figurine. So I have my little deer, my little deer friend. And you guys have- What did you get, Laura? <gasps> a red dinosaur. I have a gray dinosaur with yellow polka dots on its back. That's so cool. All right, so these are gonna look really awesome, I think. Um, and then in the bottom of my jar, I have little sequins in here. That'll be like a really nice addition to just a little little extra something for the snow globe. What do you guys have? Little oh. pom-poms. Cool. All right, so these are gonna look really awesome, I think. Um, Okay, so the very, uh, oh, the next thing, we have a couple more things that we have to we have to look at. So we have a little container of glue, which you're gonna use for a couple of different things. Um, you have a little bit of uh, batting or fluff. It'll be a nice little addition to our snowy scene. And you have a popsicle stick. Okay, so you guys have all those things, right? You do. Awesome. Okay, so the very first thing that you're, you're gonna wanna do is we are gonna be doing all of our gluing on our lid sort of this will be like the surface that we're working off of so let's get our lid out and um let's get ready to to start putting some stuff down do we so, do it on the inside or the outside we're going to be doing it on the inside so that when we have everything glued and it's all dry then we can take the bottom of the jar and just sort of invert it and then we can have a snow globe a beautiful snow globe just like that okay That's exciting. awesome okay so, take this lid and we're going to start gluing right on the bottom here. So, go ahead and open up your glue. Oh my goodness. That's a lot of glue. There's a lot of glue. Hopefully, <laughs> eat all of it. <laughs> okay. Um, and then you're going to take your popsicle stick and just get a little bit of that glue and put it on the bottom of your lid. We are gonna start by gluing down some of this fluff. So you wanna get a good amount of glue, but not, not too, too much. You know, you don't want a puddle of glue, but you wanna spread it out over the surface of the lid. Ooh, that looks cool, Miss Venice. All right. Is this enough glue? That looks perfect. Yeah, I think that's good. All right, and I'm getting mine spread out. All right, and then I'm gonna put the lid back on my glue because I know myself, I know it's gonna get all over the place if I'm not careful. Uh -oh. I might have got some in the part where it screws on. Do we think that will be a problem? It might be. You're probably going to want to get that off of there. So you feel like a little piece of tissue or a paper towel or something, just wipe that off. You do have to be careful just so that it doesn't get like, you know, where it needs to seal. Um, though this isn't a, this is a waterless snow globe. So it's not, um, you know, going to be watertight. Um, all right. So now that you've got your, your glue on there, everybody at this point, 
Okay. We are going to take our fluff. We're just going to take a little bit. And I think this is the sort of thing where you can like put some down. And then if you want to put more down, you can sort of move it around and like make it look good. So start with a little bit first, I would say. And then you're just going to put a little bit of fluff right on the glue and just see how it looks and then add more if you want to. So I definitely need to add more. I did not put enough down the first time. So just grab a little bit more. Stick that on there. Oh, that looks great, Miss Finise. Thank you. How's it going, Laura? It is done, I think. Awesome. Yay. And you. Okay. So now we do have to do a little bit of waiting while we're making this craft because we have to wait for the glue to dry. So we are going to wait a few minutes for our glue to dry and then we will be back to move on to the next step. See you guys soon. Bye. Okay, so I think that all of our snow, our fluff, which looks like snow, um, should be done drying. So what we're gonna glue down next is our figurine. So our figurine is the deer or the dino, and then we have our little tree. So I'm gonna start with my tree, um, just so that I sort of get the placement on here that I want, because you sort of have to have this. Well, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna have my tree in the background, and then I'll have my figurine sort of in the front, okay? so um get out your glue and your popsicle stick again and just put a little glue on the bottom of your tree all right that. oh that looks great oh that looks awesome okay and then i'm gonna put mine sort of like middle back and just get it make sure it's like really stuck down in the fluff so that it's gonna stick there there's mine awesome okay and then you can do laura do you have yours down it's well it's it's a little wobbly but it's down i think i think it'll be okay it'll the glue will dry too so it will it will stick a little bit better um and then we can put our little figurines down. So here's my little deer and you guys have your dinos. Okay. And um, you can just take the feet of your little figurine and stick it right in the glue. This is gonna be a really good way to get a good distribution of glue on the feet. Make sure you don't stick them in too far because you don't want their whole legs covered in glue, but just the little feetsies. Okay. Going swimming. <laughs> okay, and then I'm gonna put my little deer right here, right there. Just sometimes you just have to wiggle it around so you get the right spot for him. Some deep snow that this guy is swimming through. Okay. And then at this point, you can make a choice. Once you have your figurine down, oh, that looks cool, Miss Denise. Thank you. Um, then you can make a choice. So if you have the deer, you have some sequins. If you have a dinosaur, you have some pom-poms. Um, you can either, you have two options here. Um, you can either leave your sequins or pom-poms in to be like part of the snow, so like when you shake your snow globe it just like flies up like snow or you can glue your pom-pom slash sequins down on the snow on your little figurine on your tree you can get creative um put them on the inside of the jar um you can sort of do what you want here i'm just gonna leave my sequins free so that they can float around with the snow but i think miss finice is gonna do her pom-poms I'm gluing them. Uh, one is in the dinosaur's arms and the other few I will probably do on the tree. Nice. Okay, cool. Laura, what are you going to do with your pom-poms? I think I'm going to pile them under the tree to help my dinosaur stand up because he's a little puppy <laughs> on his two legs. Nice. He's at his little prop.
All right. And so when we are done gluing on our pom-poms, oh, that looks so beautiful. Thank you. I love it. When you're done gluing your pom-poms on or your sequins, then you need to let it dry for a little while. So we are going to take another break while ours dry. Um, and then we'll be back. Okay. Sound good? Sounds good. Great. See you in a few minutes. All right, so I think all of our glue has dried and I think we're ready to put this thing together. Okay, so you've got the base here and you've got your jar. You guys have nothing in your jar at the moment, is that right? Nothing. Empty jars? Okay, I've got some sequins in mine, but what we are going to do now is take this, uh, this like snow globe snow and we are going to put it in our jar. Okay, so go ahead and do that. Just, I'm just gonna put all my snow in because you, I want it to be a really snowy snow globe. Okay, and this stuff can get a little messy and get all over the place. So just be careful when you're putting it in. I stuck my bag right in so that I wouldn't do what I normally do, which is make a mess. And I didn't think of that. So I've got a little bit on my table, but that is okay. I'm just gonna get that in there. I didn't do that either, but I, Still, but you're, make you're a craft master. <laughs> All right, so you've got your snow, but you have your jar lid. What you are going to do now is you are going to do one last adjustment if you want to. You want to make sure everything is where you want it to be, all stuck down. And then you are going to take your lid, and this is the moment of truth. You are going to turn it over <gasps> like this. <gasps> dun dun dun. Ah. And then you are going to screw the lid onto the jar. And the nice thing about this um, jar is that uh, you can have a little fluff in between the jar lid and the jar and it's gonna be okay. It doesn't have to be perfect. Um, I did notice when I just did mine that my, uh, my tree got a little stuck in the snow. So just be careful when you're, when you're turning the lid. I think and I have too much snow in mine. Uh-oh, yeah, I think I might too. Um, in that case, yeah, I can't see any of the figurines. <laughs> you can just take some out. It so, feels not, like a typical Rochester it is. blizzard. It is. This is our this is our February blizzard. Um, okay, so I'm gonna I'm gonna take some of my snow out. That's okay. It's easy to adjust. Um, so I'm just gonna dump some out back into the bag. And if you have a sequin or pom-pom mixture in there, just make sure that you don't dump out any of, any of those cool things. Um, so so I'm only gonna use about this much snow. Yeah, me too, about that much. I lost a pom-pom. Uh-oh. Dun, dun, dun. Okay, and now I'm gonna, I'm gonna check that again and see how it looks. Oh, that's much better, I think. Still quite a bit of snow, but it looks so much less like a blizzard. <laughs> so here is my little figurine and if oh. I take it around, I can sort of get the effect of the snow globe. Yay! Yay! All right, and so the very last thing that we are gonna do with this craft is we have our twine. This is just a nice little decoration. Um, we are gonna put that around the, uh, the base of the jar. So right where the lid meets the jar, just gonna, I'm gonna wrap it around a couple of times um, and then tie a nice little bow. I'm going to do it right in front of my deer so that center oh. on the front. It looks like a dino winter wonderland. Oh, that's so pretty. Love it. I love it. Those pom-poms really add the perfect. Now, would dinosaurs Thank be you. in the snow? No, they were cold blooded. So they would get way too cold in the snow. It'd be so cold. Plus they they don't have dinosaurs who have adapted uh. in secret. And they live on the <laughs> <laughs> All right. And my twine was a little long, so I cut it. But here it is. Here's oh, it's beautiful. beautiful. Isn't that oh, cute? Now you can see a little sequin in there. 
Yay. You can put this on a shelf or near your books. You can put it next to your bed if you want. Put it on my desk. It's a nice little, oh. little decoration. <gasps> Yours is beautiful. Thank you. I love it. All right. Well, thank you guys so much for joining me for this craft. This was so much fun. Thank you for showing us how to do it. Yeah. All right. Well, this has been great. And thanks. Thanks everybody for joining us from home too. Um, and uh, we hope you had fun. Yeah. I hope you guys have a great holiday too. Yeah. Enjoy Happy the holidays. Holidays. Absolutely. Right. Bye. Bye.